Hello and welcome to the Scare Me project here at Code Cutoff. Essentially what this is, is an F My Life clone. And if you don't know what F My Life is, just go to fmylife.com and essentially what it is, is users posting stories and then others can either upvote or downvote and then leave comments as well. So essentially that is what the Scare Me project is all about. It's a web application that you'll be building with Ruby on Rails. So we'll be using the latest versions Ruby 2 and Rails 4 and we'll be I'll be showing you how to build out stories associate those stories with comments and then assign those to different categories so you'll see here this is the home page of our scare me application and users can create different scary stories and then other folks can upvote or downvote and then leave comments as well so whenever you create a scary story you can create it in one of these different categories here. So if you click on the different categories, it will be shown only the scary stories within those specific categories. We'll also have user authentication so folks can sign in and sign out and edit their own profiles and put a name to their profile. We'll have the ability to search the different scary stories. So if you're going through this and you uh, want to search for ghost stories or the swamp thing or specific stories to werewolves or something you can conduct a search and it'll show you it'll match all those those scary stories that uh, match your your search criteria right here so this is going to be an F my life clone very simple uh, very straightforward but you're going to be learning a lot in uh, in this course here you'll be learning how to use nested resources how to create a search method from scratch and how to build out the different model associations as well. Then, and down at the bottom here, if we go to the home page, we'll have pagination. So you also learn how to do pagination as well. And we're one thing I want to stress is that this is all going to be built essentially from scratch. We're not going to rely on any scaffolds. So I know a lot of tutorials out there will teach you how to build out a a basic CRUD application with the use of scaffolding. So a lot of, and essentially what that is, is generating all a lot of the code for you automatically. Well, here we're going to be building everything out. The only time we're going to be uh, doing something that's kind of automatic is when we're creating our uh, what we call migration files to build out in connection to the database. So. There you have it. This is just a brief overview of the Scammy project here at Code Cutoff. Please feel free to sign up and follow along.